My mom was a great person. She always looked out for everybody, especially kids. She always looked out for kids. If they need a place to stay, well, they can always come stay with us. She always welcomed people with open arms. She always told me that it's gonna come a time where I'm gonna have to look out for myself and take care of myself and grow up before I'm supposed to be an adult. And she was getting sick. We were so tight as a family that we never told anybody. We thought we should just keep it a secret. In eighth grade, I really didn't go to school that much because I would take care of my mom. I had to wash her, I had to feed her, and just be there for her. Sometimes I would just pick her up out of the bed and sit her on the couch and get all the sheets clean and lay the bed out. And uh, when I look on it, I'm just like, how did I get through all of that? I didn't know what she had. I just knew that she was getting worse. She started to deteriorate in a sense. When you look at her, she was just not herself. And um, a couple weeks later, she ended up passing. And I have nowhere to go. I was 15 and I'm just like, oh my God, man. is this really happening? My basketball coach, she let me come live with her so that I could go to school. I ended up living with my aunt. I lived with another cousin. Anywhere I could lay my head for that night, I was staying there. When I was on the basketball court playing, I wasn't thinking about where I'm gonna live later on that night. I'm just thinking about playing basketball, just having fun, just being a kid. I knew I had a chance to play on the professional level. And I'm like, you know, maybe I could play in the WNBA. When nobody was watching, I was at the gym. I just kept working. And now I'm a WNBA All-Star. Everybody knows my name, so all those late nights paid off. All that hard work finally paying off. You name it, Sugar Rogers has been through it. I mean, this young woman has maybe the most inspirational story I've ever seen in sports. My mom passing was definitely a reason why I worked so hard to strive to be better. I just feel like it's always more out there for me. I know it's going to be roadblocks. I just have to find a way to get over, under, around, and, and keep going forward. The WNBA just gives me an outlet to share my past, to inspire others. And the message is just stay positive. If you stay positive, you can get through anything.